guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are reviewing a really hyped up activewear brand and it's called Navigation. So Navigation is Ashley Jordan's activewear line and she's like a super big like 2 million followers, super big fitness person on Instagram. And she has an amazing butt, you know, as a lot of them do. So they're really famous for their, both their booty scrunch leggings. And today I'm just reviewing their booty contour leggings, which are probably their most hyped ones. These literally sell out so fast. I was like kind of deciding for like literally five minutes between getting the khaki color and the pink color. And by the time it was like, I think the launch was like 10 a.m. where I was. By the time it was 10.05, the only option was the gray. So I was like, okay, I guess if we want to get these leggings, we're just gonna get the gray color. So it's definitely one of those companies that sells out super quick, so do be mindful of that. And this is an actual honest review. I bought these with my own money. Um, they did not send these to me. There's no affiliation with Navigation or Ashley Jordan or anything. So I actually do have a few complaints about these leggings and the company. So, and I don't feel like I've heard a lot of other people in their reviews talk about this. So if you are looking for the actual truth on some things, then make sure to keep watching. So these leggings are 48 US dollars and they don't have any free shipping. So by the time it was all said and done, I was paying like 55, $56 to get these leggings to my door. So they're definitely up there in price. They're around Gymshark kind of style prices. So I'm definitely expecting pretty high quality leggings. So like I said about the colors, they have expanded their color range. They used to just have this color, but now they have this color, which is the blue color. They also have the khaki, pink, and a speckled black color, which is just more of like a true gray color, kind of like my jacket. So these leggings do have a few key details. The first is obviously the underbooty contour. And when I looked at these leggings, I thought the underbooty contour was kind of small, but it actually really like stretches out when you put on the leggings, cause we'll talk about this later, but these leggings are super stretchy. Um, so yeah, they have the underbooty contour, which is just kind of a darker shaded little like crescent moon shape thing. And with these, you definitely have to adjust it so it's right underneath your booty. It definitely wasn't, like when I put on the leggings right away, it was it didn't fall right underneath my butt. I kind of had to like work it to get it there, but it's definitely possible to get it under your butt because these are super stretchy. It just wasn't like super natural to get it there. They also do have a nice little side contour detailing. It doesn't really add much shape to the leg, but it kind of just adds like a nice little like design feature. These leggings also have a nice thick ribbed waistband. It's a few inches high, pretty good height, offers a little bit of compression as well. It is ribbed, kind of reminds me of a Gymshark like ombre seamless waistband, but definitely um, holds its shape really well and it doesn't stretch out. So the logo is actually embroidered into the waistband, which I think is a really nice touch because a lot of leggings will just like put on like a little vinyl and after so many washes, like you can just peel those things right off. So they're not actually very good quality. So I really appreciate the attention to detail they put in here. The seams also feel like very good quality. I haven't noticed any loose stitching or anything and um, they've, they seem pretty flexible as well. So I don't have any problems with the quality there either. In terms of length, I'll correct myself if I'm wrong after I look at the try on, but I believe these were about a seven eighths length on me. So definitely not full, full length. So for the fabric, they don't actually list the fabric composition on the website, which always bothers me because like I kind of want to know what the fabric of a legging is if I'm like, you know, buying it for the first time. So I don't actually have any like composition information for that, but I'm going to give you as much detail as I can. The fabric is a little marled fabric, as you can see close up. It's very, just very slightly marled. It doesn't really look very marled from far away. The fabric is also very, very thin. Like I tried it on and I was like, it almost felt like kind of cheap in a way because it was so thin and like with that thinness they have a lot of stretch like literally one of the stretchiest leggings I've ever put on like these are really these this fabric is really something else but they're just like super super thin I wasn't expecting that with this thinness you're definitely going to see like underwear lines and definitely cellulite so this isn't doing any favors in terms of hiding anything uneven under the leggings how it feels it almost has a slick texture but it's not that like shiny slick texture and it's definitely not like cottony or brown in any way so it's not like Lululemon aligns like at all with that like softness but it doesn't have fabric that's like going to pill or anything and it just like feels like smooth to the touch so these are definitely not a compression legging it's definitely good if you're not trying to like squish the booty down in any way because they definitely are very very stretchy and weightless but yeah if you're looking for a compression legging these aren't going to really suck you in in anywhere except for maybe the waistband because that is double thickness as for sizing they do come extra small to extra large and i would also say these are true to size i have my normal size small and i also have my measurements down below 
So the fabric is very stretchy. So even if like these do look a little small, like when I like picked these up, I was like, oh, are those gonna fit me? But even though they look small, I think definitely go to your normal size because these still definitely fit me. I didn't feel like they were like tight in any places that they shouldn't be. And I also looked at their sizing chart and I really liked their sizing because it does allow for more room in like the hip area and it's a bit more tapered in the waist. And a lot of brands like don't really put like a big difference within like waist and hip sizing. But for me, I have like a smaller waist and like, you know, have a little bit of a butt. So you wanna have sizing that like accommodates for that. These leggings definitely cater more towards like the athletically built crowd like they have like you know more room in the legs butt area a little tighter in the waist which i think is really cool that they're trying to do okay so now on to some issues with these leggings the moment i put these on i actually couldn't even wear them to the gym that day because i thought it was so bad but the crotch gathers so much fabric like this is extreme single camel like i didn't have any double camel problems but like really bad single camel i'll insert clips but like it's like more than any other pair of leggings i tried if you want the booty contour to be underneath your butt, you have to pull up the leggings a little bit. And I didn't feel like the waistband was like really, really too high on me. I didn't feel like I was hiking them up all that much. But if you pull anything down to like get rid of that, the waistband is really low and the booty contour is not underneath your booty. So there's really no way around this. And I posted on my Instagram story that I was like, does anyone else have these issues? And like 10 of you like replied, like, I wish you had said this before I bought these leggings because like it totally happens on me. And like, I had to sell my leggings. Like it was so bad I couldn't wear them to the gym. Like I look, I found some other pictures of people wearing these leggings and it like, really gathers there. And it's just not cute to me. Like you should really be able to like figure out your legging sizing enough that it's not like so much gaping and like gathering around the crotch. Like usually I don't mind like a little crotch gathering, like a little single camel is not gonna hurt anyone, but like these leggings are so thin that it really, it's not for me. It also kind of looks like it does this on Ashley as well who like made these leggings. So like maybe it's not a big deal to her. Navigation, if you're watching this, please try to fix this because I think that the leggings would be so cute without this large issue. No one wants all that attention being drawn to your crotch, you know? Also, I'm kind of having an issue with their like customer service as well. So I messaged them like months and months ago asking if they had like return policy on their leggings, never replied. They also don't have an actual return service on their leggings. Nowhere on their website did I find anything about returns. I think maybe the only thing I found on returns was that like you could email them, but I talked to some other people who had issues with the leggings as well and they were like, no, I just had to sell my leggings because their return policy really wasn't working for them. And like they just weren't really replying to the return emails. And for a company with like kind of more like luxurious, like more expensive leggings, I really think that you should have a return service or at least like a way to return the leggings so that you get money back or like even if they don't pay for the return shipping like I like I would like some kind of return service because sometimes you don't know what size to get and it's not very clear or the leggings have issues that you don't really like so definitely wish that they would improve their customer service and had a return portal also I'm pretty sure I found their exact crossbody tops that they have um, that they've been selling on Amazon so I'm gonna link those down below but like these look exactly like their crossbody tops okay and on to some more details in terms of sweat proof we just have to come to the conclusion that there's no way to make leggings sweat proof unless they're like black or they have like a really intricate pattern on them that you're just not gonna notice the sweat but these are gonna show some sweat they're gray color you get water on them they show it we already talked about camel toe. I actually didn't really have any double camel problems with this, but we know about the single camel. And like I said about the cellulite before, you might have a little bit of help with the cellulite because the fabric is slightly marled and you have a booty contour, but for the most part, this fabric is so, so thin that I really don't think that you're going to get any help with cellulite there. So in terms of squat proofness, I actually just watched the squat test and they're not entirely squat proof. Like there's, there's definitely, some sheerness at the bottom. I'd probably give them like a six out of 10 squat proofness. You'll see the, you'll see the clip, but definitely not entirely squat proof, which again, with $50 leggings, I would like them to be squat proof, to be honest. Yeah, actually when I look through the fabric, I can, oh my gosh, you can probably see me through the fabric. Hello, can you see me? Oh my gosh, see, see? Guys, these leggings were super hyped and I have to say I was a little disappointed. Um. Yes, I am selling mine, so if you want to buy them, they'll probably be on Poshmark. So, all right, well, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope that's all the details about these leggings. If it isn't, please leave me a comment down below, and I'll try to answer your questions, and I'll see you next time. Bye!